Hey to YouTube and welcome to this episode of The Gunman. So this video here is going to be a review and demonstration on the Binks Trophy Series Spray Gun. It's a gun that I've actually been eyeing off on eBay for quite some time, like a couple of years now. I've wanted to buy one, but I've always just uh, looked at it and said, nah, at this point I can't really justify the extra money. So I ended up actually getting one sent out from a mate of mine over at Devolbus Australia. He decided to send one out for the purpose of review. So you can see it's a pretty nice looking gun. LVMP is the setup that I've got here. So you've got a few different options. You can get LVMP, HVLP, and conventional. So I'm guessing that LVMP would stand for low volume, medium pressure. And as you can see, we're about to get out a monster sized pot. That's probably the best thing about this spray gun, to be honest. We'll get into the spray booth in not too long. But yeah, it's a pretty basic uh, inside the box. You just get a couple of manuals, the spray gun handle, and the pot itself. It also also comes with some uh, spray gun lube as you can see there they call it gunner's lube something I don't really use too often like I actually never use uh, spray gun lube to be honest um, if I was going to maybe leave the trade for a few months and I, I wanted to give my guns a full proper strip down give them a, a soak in some cam clean that gun cleaner you may be familiar with and then I might want to put some of that around the uh, needle or something like that so that it doesn't sort of seize up over time but when you use your spray guns uh, quite often as I do, they're getting cleaned out every day or at least every second day, something like that. It's really not necessary to go and put spray gun lube on them, I found anyway. Uh, other people's opinion may vary, but um, as you can see here on the gun, we've got the 1.4 mil fluid tip on it, and we're not going to muck around for too much longer. That's a bit of an idea of what you get in the box, and we'll get straight into the spray booth and see what it sprays like. We've got a Toyota Camry sitting there in the booth ready to go. It's all wiped down with prep sole, as you can see here, so we've just got a quarter panel rear door and a front end. I've also got a front and rear bumper bar to paint off this same job, but it turned out that there was a couple of extra repairs on one of the bumper bars, and we were waiting for the brand new front bumper bar to rock up from Toyota so we had a little bit of a delay so I decided that I'd paint them the next day and I'll include some of that footage later on in the video. So straight away you can see that I have to hold the gun a little bit, well quite a fair lot further back than I usually do when I'm using say my Devilburst or my Segola or even my ANI F150 and now that leads to excessive paint use. It also leads to a little bit of train tracks. You can see it's not really as even as I would usually get my base coat. And, um, a lot of people have been watching me for quite some time and you'll probably know that I do usually get my base coat on a lot nicer than that. Um, I put enough paint into this pot that I thought I would have more than enough to paint the entire uh, job in the, the color of base coat and it turns out I ended up having to go back out top the color up and then when it came time to paint the bumper wires I actually had ran out of paint so I needed to mix more up so as far as consumption goes the gun is pretty terrible to be honest application is pretty terrible um, and look all in all this gun's really going to get a terrible review there's not been many guns that I actually have that I've done full on bad reviews on but this gun there's not really much good to say about it the best thing I can really say about it is the size of the pot and even then like you need a pot that size when a gun goes through that much paint because the fan is so small you're forced to hold the gun back to open that fan up to even a tiny fan still uh, so that you're losing a bit of uh, paint in doing that um, you got to do twice the amount of passes to get a bonnet done you can see that took me probably 15 or 20 I wasn't counting the amount of passes to be honest but um you could do it if you like when when you're watching me spray half of this bonnet but um yeah look even like we decided yet there's a few things that I don't like about it you know just aesthetic things that I don't really like about it um but it absolutely shits all over this things um I am sorry to Brett you know he sent this out he was probably hoping so we get a few sales out of it, but I honestly would not recommend this gun to anyone. I've actually got a long time follower of mine, Jose Garcia, I think I'm uh, pronouncing your name there uh, correctly, Jose. Uh, but he said, I hope that is better than the HVLP version, because he saw that I got the um, LVMP version on my Instagram page. He said, I hope that's better than the HVLP version, because it's absolute garbage. And I can tell you, mate, I'm sorry, but it is no better. So I wouldn't imagine that the conventional version would be any better than this either. So I would stay well away from it. 
Um, it's an American-made gun, so sorry to my American mates. I mean, I was thinking only recently, like, we don't make spray guns here in Australia. Not that I know of, anyway. There's no real reputable brands that make spray guns here in Australia. And I was thinking to myself, if there was a, a spray gun company in Australia, I would like to buy it, you know, because I'm a bit of a patriot. Nothing wrong with wanting to support uh, businesses in your own country. But yeah, if I was an American, basically I would look for a different gun that's made at home other than the Binks Trophy, I am sorry. You can see here, here is a direct comparison. This is a gun that's half the price. This is the ANI F-150. You can see I'm going twice the speed. I'm getting twice the amount of surface uh, covered and that's just for my base coat blender. Um, and yeah, that, that gun absolutely shits all over it. The only real downfall of these ANIs is the pots on them. Uh, the threads on the tops of those, uh, the lids of the pots are a little bit of a downfall. But um, it's something that you could definitely live with and work around, you know. I'm yet to actually have any pot drips or anything bad happen with the ANI F-150 pots, but they just don't feel like they're uh, quality made, you know. Um, although this Binks, it, it feels like it's quality made gun. If the fan was bigger, you, you, they'd probably be onto a real winner, but there's no way of opening that fan up any more than what it already is. Like, I've been spraying it at two bar, one and a half bar, and it just doesn't open that fan up even by going more pressure. So that's base coat done, and now we're gonna have a go at clear coat. I if I thought the gun was any good, I would have cleared that job, uh, so the body of the car with it, but I did not. I ended up using my uh, new Segola, which I've been very happy with lately. The Segola 4600 uh, clear coat cap and the 1.3 XL. But even here, you can see, even with the clear coat, two bars of pressure I'm running, it's really still quite a small fan. I've got to hold that uh, gun quite a fair way back, and that's also leading to orange peel. By the time that the, the paint hits the panel, it's go, it's quite lumpy and it's not really a nice fine atomization. I'm not really able to move the gun nice and quick like I am with uh, a lot of my other guns. Um, so yeah, I really do highly recommend staying well away from this gun. Uh, there's only one other gun that really comes to mind that I've given an absolutely terrible review, and that was the Star S4000 full-size spray gun. Again, it had a 1.4 mil on it, but it was the same fault as this gun. The fan was just way too small. I've got another painter that works with me. He's around 55, 56 years old, and he's got a Star S4000 that he uh, uses for his base coats. And I keep saying to him, man, you need to upgrade your spray gun. No wonder you um, get a bit of mottle in your um, base coat sometimes, and you go through a bit more material than others do, because it's just a terrible gun. And here's another good comparison with clear coat, straight over to my Segola 4600 and I'm able to move a lot uh, closer to the panel and move a lot quicker, and it's just um, actually removing a bit of the orange peel from that first coat, so I'm actually just able to flood a little bit of that orange peel out. Um, it just absolutely craps all over it, and for the price, it's, yeah, it's totally not worth it. I, I again, I do so apologize to Brett. Uh, he probably hasn't made it this far. He's probably watched me just shitting all over the gun, saying it's terrible, and he's probably tuned out by now, but, um, yeah, look, I was even thinking about uh, turning around and saying to Brett, um, do you want me to not review this because it's a bad gun? But I thought, you know what? I'm not even going to ask him. I think the review deserves to be up there because anyone that does think that they are interested possibly in buying that gun, um, I think they deserve to know to stay away from it and that there are other good options out there rather than just literally wasting your money. The truth is I would actually rate the Binks Trophy lower than the Star S4000 because it is double the price as the S4000. So at least when you get in the S4000, well, you, you're paying for a $150 spray gun. You get what you pay for at the end of the day. But um, yeah, that's another good option, the F-150, which you did see me putting my uh, wet bed down with or the base coat blender, whatever you want to call it. Um, that is another good option to run with if you are after a cheap gun. But yeah, as I say, the Bink still isn't even actually a cheap gun. When doing a review, I think I am pretty well-rounded and pretty fair, uh, but I think it's fair to say that is a shit spray gun, you know? Um, no offense to the people who made it, I'm not trying to bring you any discredit, but if you guys start making better spray guns, then we'll start using them. I even had one person say um, the Binks haven't made a good spray gun since they had, I think it was a Model 7, I'm not familiar with it, but it was like an old suction fed spray gun, I think in the 90s or something like that. So it's not only me that is saying this about those Binks, and I do recommend staying away from them. There's uh, many other good options out there. Having a small fan on a spray gun is probably just about the worst thing that you can get. 
uh, because you can always make a fan that's too big a little bit smaller. You can't make a small fan any bigger. So the only thing I would actually end up using that gun for, I might even just give it to one of the panel beater guys because they're always coming over and borrowing one of my spray guns for some etch primer. So I might just whack some etch primer in it and just give it to one of the panel beaters or you know some uh, bit of black, like as a black gun or something like that for underneath your wheel arches. But as far as uh, using it in the spray booth to paint base coat or clear coat, yes, it can be done, but no, I don't think I'll be using it in the spray booth again, unfortunately. So I do recommend you guys check out my website on the store page. I've recently met this guy in Perth, he's a good dude, Kiwi guy, and he's ended up getting me onto some really reasonably priced hats, stubby coolers, uh, t-shirts, and some just basic uh, cool merchandise. Uh, it's good to be able to keep my money in Australia, another small business, and I watch a lot of YouTube myself. A lot of the channels I watch, they're always asking for money through their Patreon or whatever. I'm not going to be asking for that. If you think that you've gained a lot out of watching my videos and you'd like to give back, all I say is go over to my website and buy something. Buy a sticker, I've got some stickers over there, buy a shirt. Um, at this point, I haven't quite got them yet, but uh, just thought, that's what I was saying before. Just keep an eye on it because they should be coming soon. And as soon as they're in, that'll all be up on the website and I'll be able to ship them out whenever. That website's also worth a bit of a look around as well. I spent probably about three months when I was over there in Thailand working on that website flat out. Made a lot of content over there and uh, learning how to use the website builder as well. So I don't always do a article on every single um, spray gun review or product review, but I still do when I get the time and I'm feeling uh, into it uh, I do make a couple of posts over there so uh, keep an eye out over there you can also subscribe to it uh, via RRS feed yeah, you may not be interested but if you've got your uh, Google Chrome browser you can uh, enable a plugin called RRS feed and that will uh, keep you up to date with any uh, posts that I'll make on there so possibly worth looking into I use it for a couple of my mates websites so that's it for this video guys hope you guys have enjoyed it as always leave a bit of feedback down below anything you think I could have done better in the video um, is always welcome feedback is always good to get as a creator negative or positive um, and yeah if you think there's anything that I could have done to make these videos better I'm always open to suggestions so I don't actually have a ending as such for this video I haven't got any footage of it when it was out there being washed up and detailed I have been pretty busy lately and you guys may not have seen it on your end but I haven't actually been making very many videos in the last couple of weeks three to four weeks been very busy just uh, watching a lot of YouTube myself so um, I had a bit of a back catalog I was quite ahead on my videos so I did decide to um, just chill out for a bit but I'm starting to get that mojo back for making videos I find myself getting a little bit depressed when I haven't made enough videos for some reason it's weird for me uh, I know you guys seem to get a lot out of it I get a lot of good feedback but also from my side of things I'm actually in a better mental uh, mind frame when I have been making videos if I haven't done anything for a couple of weeks I find myself just feeling guilty and feeling like I should have done more but then there's also those times when I just literally just opening that computer up and opening the editing software just makes me lethargic and just feel like going to sleep so all I actually ask from you guys is to give the videos a thumbs up and I really would like to say a big thanks to each and every one of you for watching right up to the end if any of these links at the end interest you check them out and now you've seen this video get out there and paint some shit thanks for watching and this has been another gunman production goodbye